Have you heard about Rocket Money and are curious about what it really has to offer? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the app, including its bill negotiation feature. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and true reviews like this one. Formerly known as Truebill, the personal finance app Rocket Money rebranded last summer. While I'd heard about the app before and after the change, it wasn't until more recently that I decided to dive in and see what it was all about. So what does Rocket Money have to offer and can it save you money? Let's take a look at a few things to know about the app and its features. The first thing to know about Rocket Money is that it includes a number of features that you'd expect from an account aggregator, including budgeting, insights, and more. Similar to a number of other apps, including Mint, Rocket Money allows users to connect their various banking, investment, and credit card accounts using Plaid. Then, customers can view their balances all in one place, look at spending insights, search transactions, set notifications, and more. Rocket users can also build a budget within the app, adjusting their numbers based on their recent spending. Additionally, you can opt in to view your credit score, which does still use the Vantage Score 3.0 model as opposed to FICO, but is based on Experian data, whereas Credit Karma features TransUnion and Equifax. While these particular features aren't really breaking the mold and can be limited in the free version, they are an essential part of any personal finance app. Next, Rocket Money has one of the better subscription and recurring payment interfaces that I've found among similar apps. When you link spending accounts to Rocket Money, the app will look for recurring payments and show them in the Apply and in Recurring tab. Here, you can review upcoming payments and even get a calendar view of them, or enter Paycheck View to see what bills you need to cover before your next payday. Of course, since this feature is based on recurring actions, there's a chance you may find items that aren't really subscriptions. In these cases, it's easy to simply remove these transactions from the list. Similarly, you can toggle on the recurring tag on any transaction if there's a sub that the app may have missed. In addition to simply highlighting your current subscriptions, Rocket Money can also negotiate a lower price for certain bills on your behalf, which I successfully got to try for myself. As you view your current subscriptions in Rocket Money, you may come across notifications that a certain bill seems high, along with an offer to have the app negotiate a lower price for you. That's exactly what happened with my SiriusXM subscription. After entering some personal information and whether or not I'd be willing to pay for a year of the service up front if it meant getting a better deal, I was then able to select what success fee I'd pay Rocket Money if they were able to get me a discount. These fees are based on a percentage of your savings in the first year, so if the app isn't successful, you won't pay anything. According to the pop-up, a 50% fee is most common, while you are able to select an option as low as 30%. Within a week or so, I got an email from Rocket Money saying they managed to negotiate a discount for one year of my SiriusXM subscription with no changes to my service. In total, these savings amounted to $174.84 for the year, or $14.57 a month. In turn, my total fee to be paid to Rocket was $69.93. This could all be paid at once, or I could arrange for a payment plan ranging from two to six months. All in all, paying nearly $70 for something I surely could have done myself probably isn't the greatest deal. That said, since I likely wasn't going to do it myself, I was really playing with house money here. If nothing else, perhaps these alerts can bring your attention to certain recurring bills that you can try to negotiate yourself first before seeing if Rocket Money may be able to help. Up until this point, we've been looking at the free version of Rocket Money, although you can also upgrade to a pro account. As you navigate Rocket Money, you may come across some features that are exclusive to the Pro version. For example, the Net Worth tab is locked, as is the ability to sync in real time. To gain these features and others, users can subscribe to Pro under the app's Pay What You Think Is Fair model. However, you can't select $0 as the minimum here is $5 a month, or if you pay for a year up front, $3 a month for a total of $36, with Rocket stating that most people pay $8 a month for the service. If you are interested, they do offer a 7-day free trial, during which you can cancel to avoid being charged. One of the more interesting aspects of the Pro plan is their cancellation concierge. Somewhat akin to their bill negotiation feature, for certain services, you can list Rocket to cancel on your behalf. Seeing as I'm just a free user, I haven't tried this for myself, but it could be useful if you come across subscriptions to cancel and already have a Rocket Money Pro plan. Finally, as you've probably noticed from my screenshots, you can use the Rocket Money app or log into their web version. While I imagine most users will interact with Rocket Money using the mobile app, I found the web version of the service to be just as useful. In fact, if you have a lot of accounts to link, it may be easier to do so using your desktop computer rather than your phone. Aside from that, since I haven't spotted too many features that are only available in one medium versus the other, I think you're good to use whichever or both versions. Overall, I think that Rocket Money lives up to a lot of the hype I've seen about the app, although there are some paywalled features that can be found for free elsewhere. Using and navigating Rocket Money shows me why the app has become so popular, as it's a smooth and enjoyable experience. 
Plus, the recurring payments interface not only helped highlight some services I wanted to cancel, but also led me to save money on my SiriusXM subscription. At the same time, paying $8 a month for the pro version of the app seems a bit steep to me, although perhaps the $36 a year minimum would be more reasonable. For example, users can already find tools such as the net worth calculator using what was known as personal capital until recently and is now in Power Personal Dashboard. Still, I think the free version of Rocket Money is definitely worth checking out, and then you can decide for yourself whether it's worth paying for Pro or using other paid services such as Bill Negotiation. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what Rocket Money is all about, but for much more on the app, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week and some shorts in between. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.